Speaking of Miami, Brian Flores, coach of the Miami Dolphins, who lost in convincing fashion yesterday and also lost quarterback Tua Tonga by low. Here's Flores giving an update on Tua's status, along with Will Fuller, who missed the game for personal reasons. Let's have a listen. Uh, yeah, Tua's obviously, you, you know, he went out of the game yesterday. Uh, we're still running some tests. He's in a lot of pain yesterday. Still in a you know good, good deal of pain today, but. Um, you know, I think, you know, we'll call him day to day right now. Um, as far as Will, uh, Will was here today and, um, you know, we expect him here this week as well. If it is a question of pain management, his ability to come back, what kind of toughness does Tua have? He's a tough kid. I mean, I'd say he's a very tough kid. I mean, he's, whether it's the hip, I mean, just coming back from the hip. Uh, I think he had a thumb last year that he, you know, he played through. Um, they try to, you know, try to go yesterday. Um, you know, toughness isn't something that you know we question with him. I'm always uncomfortable when that issue comes up. If it's pain, how tough is a guy? Well, yes, they're all tough. Anybody who walks across that thick white stripe onto a football field is tough, and you play through pain from time to time. The question is, is there a way to play through pain in a way that does not undermine your performance when you've got a a rib injury on the left side of your body and you are left-handed, that's going to impair your ability to throw the ball. And there's also a chance you're going to have an unfortunate encounter with Dr. Needle if they decide to use a painkilling injection to allow you to do it. And even if a rib isn't broken, you can have bruised rib cartilage. I went through a litany of my non-football injuries with Mike Golick today on PFT Live. I've had broken ribs. I've had bruised rib cartilage. Let me tell you, it hurts the same. So he clearly was in pain yesterday. And... We'll just have to see. Look at that. Who would not be in pain? I don't care what kind of a flak jacket you're wearing. You get driven into the ground like that, you're going to be in pain. And we'll see if he can get it turned around. But it looks like it's not going to be an extensive time situation. Shereen, I thought, hey, if this guy's out for a long period of the season, the Deshaun Watson stuff is going to heat up. It looks like that's not going to happen. The question is, will he be ready to go on Sunday? And if not this week, will he be ready to go the next week? Yeah, I'm uncomfortable with the pain tolerance thing too, Mike, because to me it puts pressure on a kid to go out there when when maybe he's not ready to play. And, you know, if he can't throw, then they're better off with Jacoby Brissett than they are with Tua out there, even with the flak jacket, even with everything they do to protect him. Look, their offensive tackles have been terrible. Austin Jackson and Jesse Davis, they were just overmatched yesterday. And so they're facing another front now that's going to come get him. So I worry about his long-term health if he's out there and not 100%. And I don't see any way he's going to be 100% with the injury that he has. And you're right. You, you run that risk of hitting that long when you start shooting up that, that rib area. I mean, we saw it last year with Tyrod. So this is questionable to me on, on Tua. And, and the Dolphins need to think more about long-term than short-term at this point because you don't want to do anything that's going to further damage him either mentally or physically going forward, Mike. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.